Welcome back. I received some emails for people asking me how to create, you know, a small form. Okay, I'm gonna do this using Microsoft Office Word 2013. I'm just gonna go ahead and open a new blank, uh, a new blank document. And from here, we're just gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so basically, we're just gonna get a title here. This is gonna be, a, let's say that it's gonna be a medical language. Expense, expense form. Okay, so here's my title. Okay, normally any time that you guys want to create, okay, um, a form, basically it's gonna be through, um, you know, creating a table. So if we click on insert, we have the table link. And from here, let's say that I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's say that I'm gonna need five columns, okay? So here's my five columns. And for now, I'm just gonna also gonna be using um, five rows. So it's gonna be five by five. A click, and there's your table, okay? And from here, we're just gonna go ahead and start filling this form, okay? Now, before I continue, I would like to have pretty much everything here. Okay, so no, that's gonna be the date. Okay, right here we let's say that we have travel. Okay, from now this row is gonna be bigger, so I'm just gonna hit enter and it's gonna create another another row on inside the same the same cell. Okay, and the reason is because we're gonna need some extra space, so another enter. Um, let's see, no, that's basically it. Okay, T uh, travel from. Over here, I'm just gonna include something else. Okay, include address. Okay, we jump into the next one. And right here, we're gonna continue. Okay, travel to, okay, enter. And right here is gonna be uh, in a location. Like, uh, it could be medical office, etc. Okay, medical office, there you go. Perfect. Now when I close the parenthesis here, it's going to create another space below. Well, that's okay. We won't take care of that in a second. Okay. And the next one is just going to be the round. Round trip. Manage. We're going to take care of that. And then... Okay, now let's go ahead and get the last test. Okay, let's say that right here is going to be for. Um, let's say that this is going to be the company. The company is going to need this space for them. Okay, for state fund use. There you go. Okay, now when I bring my pointer into the left hand side, see, into the margin, if I click, I'm going to be able to select the first row. Once I have that, see, we're going to have the table tools. We have the design and layout. Under layout, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this option because everything's gonna be center. Okay, so there you go. So there's my text, everything is being center. Okay. Um, another thing that I would like to use here, okay? Uh, anything that I wanna select and uh, format the whole table, see? I'm gonna make sure that I click inside of one of these cells we're gonna have the table tools layout and right here we have the select option okay when we click into the see we could se click into a select table okay now why do i want to select the table because now i'm going to come back to the this um no under the layout see we have the out of it okay and then we have the out of it contents Okay, that's gonna be saving some space, and then we have the out of it to window. 
and there you go that's exactly what I need okay now there's another method okay um, we're probably gonna need more space right here into the travel from and the travel to than the run trip knowledge okay yeah. and this other one is gonna need a little sp a less space I mean just one click inside you guys are gonna see this the left indent okay and I'm just gonna drag that into the desired place um, okay it's basically it's not doing it let me go here and click on undo so here's the left indent but I this is the new guy that I need to move this little guy right here okay so it's gonna expand okay the space that I need here one two okay now the round trip we're just gonna go ahead and make it smaller we don't need that much space there and same thing on the four stage front use okay let me go ahead and continue dragging this one um pretty much it's just you know kind of playing with this guys here okay it looks like a number sign they're very tiny but that's the ones that we need to left click hold and drag to try to get them in order okay and basically we're doing this because like i said before see we need more space there's gonna be an address here so definitely we are gonna need more space into that to write the address that we need to include on this particular form okay now if we use control p okay so this is my print preview so i think that's just gonna be fine okay and um, we haven't saved this let's go ahead and save that okay normal for the tutorials i just go ahead and save these forms okay on my desktop and there's my name medic uh, the name of my form medical knowledge expense form and then save okay and there's my form okay when you guys click at the end of the last cell so you guys just click here and i mean using tab 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 another row is gonna be created okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue clicking on the last cell and just tab 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 to create another row and my row is just gonna be I mean they're gonna be inserted automatically okay so pretty much I'm gonna go all the way to the end because I wanna be able to use a whole page so let's just click place insertion point tab click tab 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 and there we go okay now Right here, I'm just gonna need to merge some of these cells, okay? So let me go ahead and use my print preview again. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna create another row. Perfect, okay? So basically from here, we're just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and select one, two, three, uh, let me see, run trip knowledge, okay. Okay, so basically I'm gonna select one, two, and three cells. And under my uh, design, I'm sorry, layout, I'm gonna be looking for the merge tool, okay? So it's not here. How about under design? It's not under design, so we come back to layout and there we see the merge tool so i'm gonna merge those three okay then i'm gonna merge one two three again merge another one two three cells and then again merge three cells okay so right here we is gonna be getting uh, let's say that we're gonna have a label the label is gonna be right aligned so it's just gonna be sitting right here now this is gonna be total total knowledge run trip 
So my torso is gonna go here. Remember this last column is gonna be for the office to be used, okay? So we have the total total knowledge run trip. Okay. And then we are gonna have the rate. Uh, this rate is also gonna be line line. And right here we are gonna go ahead and I mean we could just go ahead and include the rate, okay? So we have um okay right here this is gonna be our subtotal and then we're gonna have a total reimburse okay so those numbers are just gonna go right here. So now we have all this space right here to for the management reimbursement. Okay. And one more thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and center that. We we could underline it. Um since it's the title, you know, we could make it a little bigger. Bring the little form a little closer to it. And there you go. Make sure that we save it. We go under the print preview under sort for. Okay. Um, very easy to do. Okay. There's one more thing. There's going to be occasions that you guys probably don't want to show all the borders here. If we come back to the layout, and again, remember to use select table. Okay. From here, we could go to design. And let's say that we don't want to see the borders. Okay. Under borders, we could just select no borders at all. Okay, so there will be no borders, but as once we click and we use tab, we jump into the next cell, the next cell, and the next cell, etc. Okay, now let me bring back those cells and something else that I want to do here. Okay, I'm gonna be selecting from the left margin. And in this case, if I come back to home, everything that I include into these lines is just gonna be, let's see, yeah, it's just gonna be centered into the particular column. Okay, well, there is, you can save, and there's your medical knowledge expense form. Okay, very easy to use and thank you if you guys remember if you guys need a tutorial just email me okay thank you until next time bye, -bye.